we're not doing it. We're doing it! At the top left position! As the Light Protoss, we have Med Shakuras, aka Yenmax. And in the bottom right position, we do have the Orange Protoss, Dennis Kenzo, aka Arkneon. Oh my god, we are in a game, guys. We are actually in a game. It's gonna be a PvP on Judgment Day. Uh. Interesting map for PvP. I mean, since it's flat ground, you know, the, cl the standard uh, 3 gay goon kind of builds are pretty good. Yeah, I've not seen a PvP on this map in so long, I just have no idea what to expect. But I guess it'll be quite standard, because there's not too many main, like, map-defining features you can really ab abuse with Protoss, but... I mean, DTs could be pretty good on this map, I guess. Dude, I just realized that there's a cliffable natural on this base, like Lost Temple, so I don't like this map there anymore. Is. Oh man, it, it's got the, and not only that, but in the middle of the map there's like, like a really weird square worth of, uh, I, I don't know what you call it, like platform, just like at the top and bottom, above where the fourth bases are. Uh, I don't know why you would ever use them for anything, it just seems such a weird place, but I guess you could put a tank up there. Next to all the dead SUVs and vultures. Looks like there was a really deadly TBT that went on. <laughs> uh, just at the top middle of the map. Oh, like yeah. dead Terran units everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, one of them was in Siege, but one wasn't. That's There's even so a dead cool. Goliath in the south. Oh my god, there is! Look at these dead Terran units! There's just so many doodads on this map, it's crazy. Wait, but isn't this a good Terran map though? Because there's so many kind clips of. and stuff, like, there's no- the middle's got a ton of terrain, if you compare it to something like Circuit Breakers. It's not only that, but also in TVP, there's a lot of, like, little walls everywhere that create yeah. smaller chokes, which exactly. is quite nice. Exactly. I'm actually gonna look at the map stats, because I've not seen them in a long time, but, I mean, this- This map was used quite a lot, for, for a bit, so... Oh, for, uh, for the person asking, my co-caster is Kix. He's streaming this as well at twitch.tv slash Q-I-K-Z-S-D. And uh, streams ladder games and stuff as well, so do uh, follow the stream. I still can't believe we're on the fourth splash of Char now as well. Kind of crazy. Slowly catching up to have at you. That may be on like 11. Won't be too long. <laughs> Especially if Shantu keeps taking break, uh, taking breaks. We do see the probe of Shakuras in the- I mean, both of them have probes in each of the bases. Interestingly enough though, Art Neon's not chasing the probe with a zealot. He's just allowing it to sort of run around for a bit. Uh, I guess he knows that it's never really going to catch it, right? Yeah. Oh, is he going to trap it in this corner? Can the probe get away? Yeah, he's going to zoom out anyway. So interestingly, uh, Arc Neon's core is way faster than uh, Shakuris's. I guess he went to... Uh, I actually wasn't really paying attention. Was it Zealot Core Zealot, or did he actually go for the core before Zealot? I think he went for core, then Zealot, then Dragoon. Yeah, I think he went core before Zealot, because he didn't have the Zealot when the probe first got in the base. Yeah. Uh, while uh, Shakuris did, so that probably explains why it's a little bit faster. Although Shakura is actually opting to go for two Zealots first instead of a Dragoon. I mean, the call was a little bit late, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah... I mean, not that's... sure he's really going to be able to do anything with it though. Cross positions on this map, there's such a weird path that you have to take as well. That you have to juke around the center of this map, and sometimes if you're not careful, your units will go the whole way around the top or the whole way around the bottom. Dude, I can't believe we're getting orange again on Judgment Day. I know. This is, this is madness. Freaking Blizzard, please. Hey, 3 gay goon! It's, it's like orange it. Protoss as well, and all their buildings are like gold, so... Oh my god, you're right. Art Neon with the perfect camouflage, just using it <laughs> to his advantage there. Dude, it's perfect. You know if... Oh, we see 2-gate Robo from Shakuras against the 3-gates uh, of Art Neon as well. Is he going to go for the support bay? So, the fact that he built his robo this far forward indicates that he probably wants to do a, uh, a no-shuttle reaver expand and just kind of walk the shuttle over to defend his, uh, his natural trope. 
It's gonna be kind of interesting though, so I guess he wants to defend the choke at the Minnow only. Uh, but it's a lot of space to cover, so if Arc Neon was going for a Reaver build, it would be a ton of area to, you know, defend against Reaver drops. Of course, Arc Neon isn't going for this, and I think... I mean, I'm not a huge fan of 2-gate Reaver on flat maps, but if Arc Neon doesn't really go offensive with his 3-gate, then I guess it's fine. Yeah, I guess part of the power comes with Reavers uh, within the fact of having the ramp makes it very hard to break. But even then, Reapers are so weird that sometimes that doesn't actually matter and the Reaper just won't do any damage. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we do. It looks like Arc Neon's going to be powering goons off of these three gateways, actually heading up to his own Robo now, possibly for a observatory, just to make sure he doesn't back to DTs. But we could also see him go straight into Reaper as well. We do see the support bay and the observatory finishing at relatively the same time in Shakura's base as well, so he's. He's going to be okay as long as he gets his first Reaver out quickly enough. He needs to be careful not to lose any units here though, or he will get overrun. Yeah, this is going to be pretty close right now. There are two Zealots for Shakuras versus the one of Arc Neon. You can't out micro this, you can see he's just completely ignoring the Zealots, focusing down his opponent's Dragoons here, and now going to attack the Zealots. Looks like, oh man, nice focus fire though from Dien Max. Might get, no, he doesn't quite get the Dragoon. Now he finishes off the Dragoon, and it's very, very even unit counts. No, never mind. Goon advantage, big goon advantage here for Arc Neon, and he should be rallying three gateways forward, although it looks like I think there's a couple of units at his natural that aren't rallied forward. There's two Dragoons AFK, he's finally uh, found them, and this is oh, the problem. Man, this is the problem with going two gate obs on a flat map, no ramp to defend. And these, uh, these Dragoons are going to get straight on top of the Robo as well. And as soon as that Reaver pops out, they'll be able to kill it before it even gets a Scarab. But he is just chasing down these Dragoons in the top of the map, so... This is pretty unfortunate for Shakuras. Looks like Arc Neon may be in a pretty unlosable situation at the moment. Rallying in more Dragoons as well, taking out so many probes. Yeah, looks like, uh... This is pretty sad times. Oh man, he's oh the reaver's oh, out. The I don't know if he saw out. it though. I don't think he saw it. And actually, the probe's doing a good job killing. Oh, all... he's built the pylon to wall off the dragoons as well. The zealots can actually get through that, but dragoons cannot. Ooh. So this will give the reaver a chance to move up. That's actually very smart. I completely did not realize you could do this, but that's not gonna last very long. And here we go, the Reaver. Is it gonna get a second shot off? It does get a second shot off, but is immediately killed. It's and not this enough damage. Oh man. Bye-bye. Yeah, GG. Shakura's, uh, interesting choice of a build, going for that, as you said, no shuttle Reaver. Um, I mean, if the Reaver was a little bit earlier and he could have blocked his choke a little bit quicker, maybe that would have gone differently, but unfortunately for him, uh, that didn't happen. And Arc Neon did manage to barrel down the front into his main. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are. Map number two. Nearly lagged, but we're good. We're still there. And in the top left, or no, in the bottom left, there is no top left swarm on this map. We do have the Brown Protoss, and Dennis. Yeah, Dennis Kenzo. And now I'm actually left. I guess he thought it was lagging. Mm -hmm. And at the top right is the Purple Protoss. We have Med Shakuris, aka Dien Max. Dennis Kenzo, by the way, guys, is of course Arc Neon. Uh, and it is 1 1 0 in favor of Mr. Arc Neon. Is yeah, he took a T uh, decisive first game as well. So uh, Shakuras is actually going to have to put up quite a decent fight to try and come back into this series. Agni on showing his prowess in PvP there in the first game. We don't see anything too cheesy coming out of them though. They're not sending out any. I mean, proxies are so good on this map because as you can see, or well, my uh, my screen anyway, uh, the blue. Uh, in between, by the ramps in the middle, uh, you can build so many gateways in there if you wanted to. But opting to play it a little bit more safer, not doing anything crazy. Yeah, two gate uh, in your main is pretty common on this map. I mean, I think it's the standard build actually, um, just due to how easy it is to run zelts across. So, and and you know everything's flat. It's kind of like a wide choke at your natural. So, I definitely expect both of them to go two gate since that we didn't see any kind of proxy gate cheese. Yeah, we do see the first gateway coming up for Shakuras and for Arc Neon. It's kind of interesting to see the pylon placement, actually, the way Arc Neon's used his pylon between the gas and the minerals. 
which will help him later game against Reavers, because it will make the Scarabs bug out a little bit more. I'm not sure if that's actually tight against the Scarabs, so I know when he builds the Assimilator, it definitely will be on the right side, not sure about the left though. Really? The pylon is tight against Scarabs with the Assimilator? I think so. I would imagine so, because it's tight against everything else, right? Apart from Lings, maybe. I can never work out the size of a Scarab hitbox. Huh. I did not know that, but that is certainly possible, and that's very interesting. I may have to start doing gate. this kind of thing. Yeah, we do see the second gate from both players, second pylon as well. Both going up in the mains, not doing anything crazy still. We do see that Arc Vion has still got his probe in Shakura's base, just randomly attacking gateways and things. Actually trying to do a little bit of probe for us now, but he needs to be very careful not to lose the probe, especially with that first Zealot out. Has Arc Neon gone for the first Zealot? I imagine he must have done, yeah, there he goes. I was going to say I didn't see a core, so that'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> Wait, come on man, you're supposed to say PP. <laughs> yeah, that's a DQ right there. DQ, Kespa kicks, on the case. Get him out of here. I, I really- oh, he's back already. I was gonna say, I really hope he doesn't go forever, like he just suddenly goes for like 15 minutes in the middle of the game and it's like, wait, what? Dude, he, he pauses this game, logs on on a different computer, and goes plays in a clan war somewhere else. <laughs> just opens a separate instance of StarCraft EXE or something, he's got like four monitors. Mm -hmm. Like, got three games paused, he's playing in four tournaments at once. It's like, oh, hold on, hold on, my opponent's been waiting 20 minutes in this other game, just uh, let me let me tab over, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Dude, he just, he just plays in like 5 minute chunks on each one, and then just pauses at the same time, oh man. We figured it out, guys. We figured out the strats. It's like multi-boxing poker tables or something. I still find it crazy how people do that, but, I mean, it shows that they've got a lot of, um, a lot of skill in poker to even keep up with like four games at once, but they make so much money like the pro poker players, it's crazy. Well, I, I think it helps that like you're, you oh, only no. play less than, what, 20% of the hands anyway? And probably yeah. much less, than, and sometimes much less than that, like 10% of hands, so most of the time it's going to be idle anyway. Agneon just took a very bad engagement with the Zealots there. All three Zealots of uh, Shakuras was actually attacking one of Agneons, whereas his were all split up, so... Uh, Shakura's only really losing health on one of his Zealots, does have five Zealots now, trying to move around the back. This could be very bad because the Zealots of Arc Neon are just going to run straight into the main here. <laughs> There's actually a probe battle going on in the main as well. Uh, Shakura's probe does win in the end. But he doesn't have any defense. Weirdly, Shakura's built a pylon on the far left of the map for some reason, and it was spotted by Arc Neon, interestingly. So he's getting taken down, and he's also now killing a bunch of probes in Shakuras' base. Meanwhile, the, the Zealots of Shakuras are still only barely uh, getting now to the natural, where they're going to see a Nexus from Arc Neon, who, uh, who has gone for this, and perhaps that might make him vulnerable now to the the incoming Zealots. I guess maybe he might need to cancel. He's Ooh. only got, well, he's got four Zealots, and he's got a shield battery, actually. Yeah, he's got the shield battery preparing for the for this and the two zealots in the main are still alive he's actually choosing to attack now uh, he's in a good position but he has to pull back his zealots are so close to death Shakura's zealots have only actually lost their um, lost their shields in the main oh my god this nexus is nearly dead oh my god he's just going all in on the nexus the probes are off the line he's trying to do a drill but it's not gonna work the nexus falls Shakura's with a nice micro takes down the Nexus of Dennis Kenzo, and I got a 10 pound donation from Avacost. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, I'm sorry that you keep disconnecting. Uh, yeah, that's really unfortunate, Avacost. Thanks for the donation. Oh, is that for your stream as well? So that's really cool. Oh, did he donate to your thing? I don't know. I don't know. Sale is making money though. <laughs> and yeah, I, Avacost, like, seriously, I do apologize, but Terra didn't think you were gonna come back. I guess it didn't help that Terra's Peruvian. Like, if you've got lag anyway, that just makes it much worse. The only trouble is Shakuras doesn't actually have any Zealots left alive. He did kill the Nexus, but it is still just three gates. Uh, going up to four gates, okay, so it's going to be four gates against two gates. This isn't this isn't good for Arc Neon at all. He needs to be careful. Yeah, Zealot battles going on everywhere. Zealots and probe lines. Just a lot of multitasking involved here, and uh, Arc Neon... 
Once again, distracted by the uh, the battles going on in his main, gonna lose a couple of zealots at the front. Looks like uh, Shakuris. Oh my God, Shakuris went DTs. Uh oh. Oh my, and oh, and Archeon's going bad. DTs too, but his are so much slower. Yeah, he's only now getting the Citadel, so. Either he's doing some kind of crazy zealot leg all in, but that's not going to help him when the TTs come to his base. Oh, those two zealots are so low on health. If only you could catch up to them. That's why he needs the legs. <laughs> uh, is he building a forge too? He probably will build a forge too, I guess, but I mean, he did have zealots in... Uh... In Arcanion's base for so long that he didn't see any of the uh, any of the Templar tech, so I guess he's not concerned about it. And he could potentially just win the game straight away anyway before Arcanion even has a chance to make his own DTs. Looks like uh, some Zealots coming in here. If he can run into the main base, he might be able to see it. Uh... I don't think he's going to be able to get in there. Just... I mean, uh, Shakur has done a really good job speaking the Zealots out to make a, a semi wall to stop the Zealots getting into his base. They're going to play four gates. Is he going to be building DTs out of all of his games? He's even throwing up a Nexus as well. Ooh. Oh, can that... Oh, the Zealot and he gets in. Can... Oh, is he going to see the Shimmering though? Oh my god, is he, he actually... That? Shakuris is a genius. He blocked the narrow exit. Okay, and it's not blocked anymore, but he blocked it to stop Arc Neon from actually running away with his Zealots. And now the Zealots get in to see it, but the DTs are already running down on the map. The, what is Arc Neon There's a Forge have? coming up in Arc Neon's base. It's halfway done. Can he get a cannon in time? I mean, this DT, it did wait a little bit before it ran over the map, and he's actually blocking with the Dragoon as well, so that's going to take at least a few hits to get through. Oh, but man, there's another and... two DTs coming, and a lot of Zealots as well. And Archeon doing a nice job actually focusing down all the gas probes for Shakuras, and he's still got one Zealot actually running around in the base, but here we go. DT is in the house. These two Zealots probably want to run. Actually, if the DT can get over here and block, no, the DT's not going to be in time. And these cannons are going to fall straight away, but the counter DTs are coming out. Now what, th does Shakuras have anything? Shakuras is building two cannons in his main base straight away. There's one more cannon for Arcneon, there's two more cannons in the main base. It's just a mass cannon race versus DTs right now. Oh my god, Zealots from Shakuras also coming in. And can he kill this cannon at the top? Oh, I think Arcneon needs to drill, he needs to drill. He needs to bug it out. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't think Arcneon's going to be able to get the cannon up. GG is called, and we will move on to the third game in the series on Sniper Ridge. That was a... <laughs> DTs are crazy in PvP. Wow. Like... Okay. Going into the game. At the top left is the Orange Protoss. We have Dennis Kenzo, aka Arc Neon. And then in the bottom right we do have the Blue Protoss, Med Shakuras. And just quickly before the game starts, I would like to thank Kerr for donating $5 to the prize pool and Post4K who donated $2 that said, can I donate $1 directly to Scan though? <laughs> so, <laughs> I think he has his player he wants to win. Uh, I, I think you're doing it wrong, buddy. <laughs> Or, I mean, just donate one dollar to the prize pool, and uh, I think we know who it'll, who it'll go to. <laughs> oh, man. Good times, so though. Thank you guys for your donations. That's amazing. Um, do I still have the Match Arena thing on my clipboard? I do. Or right, I'm going to post the link in my chat again. If you guys want to donate to the prize pool for this awesome tournament, please do uh, head over to the Match Arena link. Okay, so Pylon's in the base again. This is a uh, new Sniper Ridge. This is probably one of the... I would call it the Fighting Spirit style maps of being sort of super standard. There's not really too many crazy map features here apart from the bridges uh, which do form the shape in the middle of the map. Yep. Uh... I mean, in Dragoon vs Dragoon, that could actually play quite a big big role as well. Uh, one player could get a really good contain up here if they, if they play aggressive enough. Yeah, especially if you have a reaver camping on the top, and also it, it causes like some vision issues as well, uh, where you don't get vision unless you run up really close. Uh, but I guess we'll see if it gets to that point. Both games, uh, well, actually, the first game was pretty quick and dirty. Last game was, I mean, it was very, very scrappy, uh, and kind of ended before two base really. Even though technically they had nexuses at the natural, that they weren't really mining from them. But yeah, PVP is very rarely 
at least in very high level play, they rarely go too late into the game. Yeah, one thing to note in this game is Arcneon got his second or his first gas super early and sent out a really early probe scout as well in comparison to Shakura's, who is building his second pile at the top of his ramp here. So once again we see Arcneon going for the very fast core. I, I actually like this on uh, on normal ramp maps where you can block the ramp with one zealot. To go for the core uh, before your first zealot, I think it's pretty it's it's definitely fine. Interestingly, Shakuras has actually gone for a second gateway before his core, even though he also got his gas, which is an absolutely bizarre build order to me. I have no idea what he's doing. I mean, his gas did only just finish, so maybe he doesn't think he'll have enough um, gas for any Dragoons or anything when they first pop, but still, it is kind of strange, especially because he opted to scout so late as well. He's not even... Oh, he does manage... Oh my god, he actually got up the ramp, but then the probe bugged out a little bit, went back down the ramp, and died to the Zealot, so he doesn't actually know what Argneon's doing at all, and Argneon is going straight for the Citadel yeah. off of one gate. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, doing like doing the super early gas and core rush uh, very often means DT, especially since we saw so many DTs in the last game, and he actually lost to that, so there's kind of like a psychological factor there as well. And this late, late core from Shakuras could potentially kill him unless he immediately gets a robo. Oh, the double mana pylon catching three probes. Damn. Is that a double? That's only one pylon, isn't it? Or did he build a second one that I completely missed? Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's just the one, one mana pylon. Ah, yeah, okay. It's just she said the double mana pylon, so it confused did, did I me. Say I was that? like. Whoops. Yeah, so where's the, where, where's the other pylon? Like, what? <laughs> Jabated. Got you. Oh, he's going in again! Ready for the double? You ready, Kicks? Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, no, he's not gonna be- oh my god. Wait, what? Wait. He's trying to block <laughs> them in. I think he thinks they're, like, walled in or something at the bottom, but they're not. He- oh my god, if he tried to, like, juke around... <laughs> and then I put oh, a second oh. pylon behind there or something. Oh, oh no! Sick. <laughs> and the fact, well, the reason why this is so good, if you're wondering, is because he's not really spending any uh, minerals for anything at home because he is just going up to his Templar archives. He's not opted to get any other units other than the one Dragoon and one Zealot, so he can start two DTs immediately, and he knows exactly what is going on inside of Shakura's base. Wait, Shakura's has a forge at the, hidden at the top corner of his base, and he's going to build cannons at his natural. Oh man. This is, this is, is some, like, sick... Wait, is he gonna do that, or is he gonna build a... If he builds the Nexus first, he's dead. No, he's built a cannon yeah. first! But the Zelda and Goon are coming down, they can actually snipe this with the DT combo. Unless he dies. But, the, yeah, the Dragoon's dying, he needs to pull back up the ramp. Oh no, I think that... Yeah, that Dragoon's definitely gonna die, and so is this Zelda. This I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. Shakura's was just thinking two steps ahead of what Arcneon was going to do. Uh, maybe maybe expecting the sort of psychological uh, benefit of going for DTs after you've just lost to it. Although this... he is being a little bit over-aggressive with his goons, like he's going to run them straight into DTs, although they have just passed each other. There's not going to be anything at home to defend for Arcneon. But this build from Shakura's, I feel like, is not very good. I mean, I'm not really one to talk considering I-12 next, but like... This build loses to 3 gate goon, it loses to fast reavers, it loses to everything except DT, DT. Rush, and it might lose oh, to this no. as well. He didn't- he didn't block <laughs> it in! <laughs> oh yep. my god, is, is there a cannon in the main? There's no cannon in the main either! It loses he to could this. just walk into the main and kill all the probes! Oh my oh, man. god. He needs, to, he needs to get into that mineral line quickly. The two Dragoons are trying to run up the ramp. The DT doesn't actually manage to block the ramp in Arcneon's main. A nice drill trying to protect the cannon, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, oh the wait. DT can't get to it. Nice bugging. Oh no, it's on the bottom. He needs to drill to the bottom minerals. He's doing a nice drill. It might finish. It's really close. Look at this insane drilling by Shakur. Oh my god, no. Ah! GG! PvP is just completely crazy. 